Kevin starts off this hour in Nashville. Hey, Kevin, welcome to the Ramsey Show. Hey, Mr. Ramsey. Hey, what's up? Um, so, I'm 23 years old, and um, ever since I was about 17, I've uh, been sports betting, and it's just gotten worse and worse and worse. And I've, I'm, I'm in GA now, and I see a therapist, and nothing really seems to work. And I'm just feeling really, really defeated and, you know, hopeless. And I was just wondering if you had any wisdom you could share or advice. Hmm. I'm sorry, man. That's a hard thing. Yeah, it's it's the worst thing that's ever happened to me, ever. For people in America that don't understand, the fastest, the second fastest growing addiction in North America today is not cocaine or fentanyl or prescription drugs or alcohol. It is gambling online. Fastest growing addiction. Second fastest growing addiction. First is porn. And uh, we deal with we deal with these numbers because we deal with people's lives that are broken around their finances all the time due to this kind of stuff. So we've talked to over 30 years, a whole lot of people where Kevin is. Kevin, I'm not an addictions expert by any stretch. You know that, right? Absolutely. Yes, okay. sir. All right. So how long have you been going to GA? Um, about three months. And I've known that I should have been going a lot longer. But I, well, I mean, not, past moved. is the past. You learned that in GA. All we do, all we're worried about is tomorrow is a new day, right? Yeah. One baby step at a time, right? And so how, are yeah. you making all your meetings? Are you going? Yep. I go twice a week um, at two different locations. So, And I also see a therapist that specializes in it. But mm-hmm. for some reason, it's just, it's just so hard, even with all of these things in place. So, mm-hmm. Oh, no, it's not going to be easy. Um, it is very hard. That's why we call it an addiction yeah. and not a problem. Right. Yeah. If it was a problem, yeah. you could work through it. It's an addiction, and so it's gonna, it's it's got its claws deep into your soul, and you're having to work, you're having to pry them out a little bit at a time. So, is your therapist moving the needle? Um, definitely improvements. I mean, like I said, I've been gambling for five years, and I will go, you know, a few days or a week or two now. Which, if you told me a year ago that could happen, I would say it's impossible. Um, I just haven't been able to fully kick it, like you said, just the nature of addiction, I guess. But mm-hmm. I have. Well, it, it is I the nature have... of it, but we have to obviously write a new script for the future, which is part of why you're calling. Um, so what yeah. is the environment in which you're, are you online, FanDuel or whatever? Yeah, so it's, it's online and I have, you know, casinos close by that, that take bets and bookies. And it's like, you know, every everywhere I look, I could gamble. It just That's just how it feels, so. Mm-hmm. Okay. What do you do for a living? And I'm tired of, yeah. So um, I work for the government, and um, I have a college degree, and I make seventy grand a year, mm-hmm. and that just makes me feel even more worthless because no one my age should be struggling. I should be, you know, mm-hmm. doing the baby steps, and here I am just fueling a betting account with every paycheck, and mm-hmm. you know that's just like the worst part of it all. Are that, you in? Are you in debt, yeah. Kevin, because of the addiction? Um, yes, thankfully not not too much, but I have about five thousand dollars worth of credit card debt because just recently they let you just put it on a credit card. Now you don't even. Okay, in the last two you, weeks, you know. where did you place your bets? Um, all online. Okay. So what do we do to cut that source off? Yeah, so I I've excluded myself from um, like the ones that are like legalized, like you know, in this, like Fanduel and stuff like that, but. The issue for me is just that there's a thousand just online offshore, you know, places oh, yeah. you can bet. Yeah, so I mean, how, how do we how harder. do we turn your computer off? Is what I'm asking. <laughs> or your phone? <laughs> yeah, is that's, your phone? I guess stripping me stripping me of electronics might actually. Might you know, actually well, I mean, for a while, idea. I'd be okay with that because if you're drunk, you can't yeah. hang out in a bar, right? Yeah, you're right. And, and like I said, not only affected me financially, it's every relationship yeah. I have and yeah. my work. And, I, I, it's just, I just feel so defeated. Yeah. And usually, Kevin, what we find too is that the addiction is a symptom. And so dealing with that symptom is really important, like what Dave is saying. But also, hopefully, your therapist is getting to the point of understanding what's motivating that like right like wanting that high what what that is giving you is for a reason and so doing that personal work and digging in to those things which i hope your therapist is doing uh, to get to the root cause is 
is huge. You know, I'd also plug into a celebration recovery class in a local church and get plugged in and start walking this on a spiritual angle yeah, as well. Yeah. That'd be my next thing. Uh, let's circle back, Rachel. Neither you nor I know enough about addictions. I uh, wish John Deloney was here today. Uh, yeah. But to uh, speak intelligently into it, there's a few things we do know from having worked with addicts over the years. Um, you know, one is you do need to plug into a group. And GA, he called it, but it's Gamblers Anonymous is what that stands for. It's like Alcoholics Anonymous, but for gamblers is uh, is incredible. Uh, Celebrate Recovery is an incredible ministry with a Christian, uh, purely Christian perspective. And plugging into a good church is a wonderful group and process to plug into. And certainly the one-on-one therapist, which is what he's doing, is there. Um in GA, you need a, a, a strong, or in Celebrate Recovery, you want a strong sponsor. And the sponsor is the person who is going to love you uh, when you fall down, but they're also going to kick your butt and hold you accountable and talk you off the ledge, so to speak, metaphorically. And, uh, you know, that, that having those people in your life matters. And then what you said before we went into the break is vital that you dig into the root cause. Because the gambling is uh, the drinking, the gambling, the cocaine use, the whatever the uh, surface addiction is, there's always something under it that's, uh, that's causing it. And that is always a, a mental uh, health thing. Uh, it's a childhood thing. It's a spiritual thing. And it may be all of those. Yeah. Um, it probably is all of those. And so, you know, as people of faith, we also have watched our lives be transformed by our faith walk and by plugging into a good church and setting up a new group of friends that weren't the old friends. I mean, you can't run around with your drinking buddies anymore if you got a drinking problem. And so if uh, Kevin's running around with a bunch of guys that are still running FanDuel every day and all they're talking about is football right, and right. Uh, their fantasy league and they're betting on this and they're betting on that and so forth. And, um, you know, you got to, you got to change your environment as well and, and then do set something up take the stuff off the apps off your phone or, t- or set the phone down for a period of time or whatever it is whatever it is you're using to access that you've got to reset those things but that won't work eventually you'll find your way back to it if you don't get down under the root and find it yeah and and really dig into that and that's some anytime any of us go through and we all do a a transformation at the character level at the spiritual level, it's painful. Yes. People do it to get out of debt. They do it in their marriages. They do it recovering from their childhoods. But it's painful. It, there's nothing, no pain quite like emotional pain. Mm-hmm. But it's necessary for the change. Because there is something to that. Uh, and again, I wish John was here, sitting here, because he's like the licensed <laughs> therapist. But but too, I'm like, to the spirit, to the spiritual side, which we both have the same faith walk, um, there's a point in our human condition that like when there's a little bit of that surrender of like, I can't just keep pulling myself up by my bootstraps over and over. Like there has to be a transformation that occurs. And I think when you can pinpoint that, whether it's on a spiritual side, but also the emotional side, right? Like what are the things going on? Where's like the, the anger, the hurt, the loan, the things in your life that could be part of the thing that that's triggering this. Uh, what are events in your life that have shaped who you are? Uh, that you kind of go back to these places of habit that you don't even realize for protective strategies. I mean, like we are just complex people and mm-hmm, I feel like mm-hmm. more and more we uncover that and money ends up being a symptom for so much of that. That's why here on the Ramsey show, like we talk about this stuff a lot, not just addiction, but, um, but the heart issues of what's going on and our money is a tool in life that ends up being affected because of it. But, um, but it's it, it but it it can be a dark, really hard spot. But I do just want to applaud Kevin for even calling and asking the question because yeah. uh, you and, could and, hear and, it. And in his let voice. me tell you this, Kevin. I, I will tell you that um, I've seen a lot of people be successful. Yes. In walking yes. away from this, uh, we see a lot of success. Uh, there's other things that are m- even harder to break. I know this is hard. I'm not diminishing this, but I mean, uh, meth is and heroin are just gum, the percentages are very low that you get out of that life. Uh, but gambling, people can walk away from. Porn, they can walk away from. They, with help and with treatment and, the, you know, engaging in the process. And uh, it is a spiritual walk. I, it's popping in my head, so I'm just going to say it. Um, uh, Max Lucado's no book, new book, Help is Here. 
He was mm-hmm. on yesterday talking about it. And uh, it's about the Holy Spirit and the power of the Holy Spirit. And, Kevin, I'm going to recommend that to you. And uh, another one is Hind's Feet in High Places. That um, is a very interesting read when you're in the soup. And you are, you're fighting out the soup right now. And we're here for you, man. You call. We'll talk to you anytime. We love you. And, um, and you know, we're not going to pull any punches with you. We're going to tell you the truth. But um, you're not alone. We're going to walk with you. But, um, but also, we're not going to tell you that we have all the answers because we certainly don't. 